Hello, I'm the Happy Jawa, and I'm doing a review for the first time in forever. But I went to the Disney store today and I saw the battle packs. I also got the Rebel one, which I shall be re reviewing straight after this one, hopefully. Fin on if I have time. Uh, but right now, I'm doing the First Order Battle Pack, uh, the Winter 2016 sets that have been released in 2015 for whatever reason. I guess just to cash in on the Force Awakens hype. Uh, but just how nice is it to be able to say Battle Pack again? that they're calling these battle packs. But of course the entire purpose of a battle pack is for army building and that's quite difficult to do when you got four unique figures. Uh, yeah, that's just the biggest fault straight off the bat with this set. Uh, a lot of people were hoping just to get uh, just the first order troopers, they're awesome figures, uh, so you just want to army build those. Uh, but I guess maybe it was too similar to uh, the last battle pack set we got, it was like the Rebels Troopers. It came with nothing but Rebels Troopers, which was lovely. So I guess they thought it would be too similar to do it again. Uh, but even just like two of these pouch guys and two of the plain guys there uh, would have been awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, that is not the case. So you're going to have to uh, buy uh, some of the more expensive sets uh, to get a bunch of Troopers. Uh, luckily, I do have the First Order Transporter. I have a review for that. Uh, link in the description I guess so I will show all the troopers that I currently have so far at the end of the video but for now let's just jump straight in and have a look at the figure first we're gonna start off with the main reason anyone's gonna be buying this set and that is for the delicious first order stormtrooper minifigures and I've already covered in my um, first order transporter review how much I love these figures I think they're the perfect amount of detail and legoiness in a minifigure I think the original trilogy Stormtroopers nowadays are just way too over detailed they look like they're covered in uh, black sharpie marker and stuff. But I think th these guys have just found the perfect balance. And uh, something I loved in the Force Awakens film is the amount of variety that even the basic Stormtroopers have. And I'm glad that's been represented with the uh, little pouch variants which I think is super cool. Uh, I think a, a good example of this is the first Troopers that find uh, that find Finn and Rey on Jakku uh, have these designs, so uh, that's cool. He was also wearing a backpack, so you could just add a backpack if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, these guys are super cool, exactly the same as what we've had before, and that's what we wanted. Uh, they just had the angry clone trooper faces. Again, why they don't bring back uh, the other, uh, like the black heads with the printed face, I don't know, or why I would honestly rather just have black heads than these things because black heads look better uh, they don't come with a standard blaster unfortunately they come with the stub shooters and that's pretty standard nowadays so uh, there's no point complaining about that uh, just replace them with normal blasters uh, yeah really cool just wish we got uh, two of each of these it would have made the set a lot better okay now we're on to the figures that nobody really wants uh, I guess it's cool to have a variety of people from the First Order, but yeah, we would have much rather had troopers. But they're still cool nonetheless, uh, interesting looking, uh, that's for sure. This is uh, our First Order crew, I only know that because it says it on the box. Uh, and I think this guy is just the equivalent of a Death Star trooper with that funky looking helmet. Uh, underneath the helmet, he has that head that is far too familiar to me. because. I've been animating someone with the same face as him for the last month. So that's that. And then for this guy, uh, we get some uh, Lego racial diversity, which is always fun. Uh, so we have uh, more heads to add to the collection. The Force Awakens uh, line has been very good with that. We've gotten uh, loads of varying skin tones and stuff. So that's great. He has a printed uh, First Order logo on his helmet. And that's the first time I've seen for First Order in logo in a Lego set, so that's cool. And uh, apart from that, they're just very plain. There isn't much to them. Uh, there is back printing. Uh, he's got uh, it's an interesting continuation on the back of his head. It looks a bit Darth Vader-y. Uh, but they don't even have the Death Star Trooper legs, like uh, the black legs with printed on it, which is kind of disappointing. And again, they come with the stud shooters that nobody really likes, but we get anyway, because playability for the kids. Okay, now on to the meat of the set, even though uh, the meat isn't particularly meaty. Here it is next to a figure, so you can see. Uh, it's a pretty small device, but uh, for what it is, 
Uh, I assume it's a representation of some of those anti-air guns. They usually have two barrels, but it's in that shrunken down uh, sort of look that these battle packs like to do. So for what it is, I think it's fine. I quite like the way it comes together with all these smooth angles and that sort of thing. The pieces that interest me the most are these lovely smooth tiles. If you've seen my city uh, updates, you know I love them smooth tiles. Uh, it does have a bit of bit more to it than this. Uh, this opens up to hold your studs for your stud shooters. You can make it red if you want. Isn't that exciting? And then on this bit, uh, you got a control panel where your little man can come and control this turret. Uh, this angles up and down. Fantastic. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, it's probably just going to be ripped down for pieces. There, it, it is uh, misleadingly quite a high piece count uh, into this thing. Uh, but yeah, not not much to it really. Uh, the rebel vehicle is much more interesting than this. As promised, here's a look at all my uh, f uh, Force Awakens troopers that I have at the moment, and uh, they do look nice together. Uh, I think pouches complements the rest of them nicely. Uh, you got the two flame troopers back there. Uh, here's Captain Phasma, just for the giggles. Of course, she don't do much in the movie, which is kind of disappointing. But go check out my Force Awakens brick film where she does does stuff. As a plug, and then uh, if you wanted to just see my full Force Awakens armada as it stands, uh, there's the two Death Trooper guys. And that is it for the first order battle pack. Uh, there, I can't really call it a disappointment because uh, the figures that we get are fantastic. It's just we wanted stormtroopers, and unfortunately we got these two guys. Uh, but I kind of like that uh, they're not easy to army build. I think. Uh, the way that you sort of have to buy sets is a reward, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a return to form for battle packs this year. Uh, I did like the Rebel Stormtrooper pack, uh, but uh, I hated the vehicle in that set. Uh, but this stuff, it kind of works, especially the Rebel set, which I'm going to review immediately after this. Uh, but yeah, I, I love the Stormtroopers, I really like the pouches, I think that's cool. Uh, that we're getting some Stormtrooper variety. Uh, but beyond that, this is just scrapped for parts, and these figures aren't particularly interesting, really, uh, if unique. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my first review in ages, so uh, cut me some slack if I was a bit rusty. Uh, also, if you want more Force Awakens action, uh, go check out my video that took much more time than this did. My first ever stop motion film. It's called Force Awakens Infiltration. You can go watch it if you would like. It's, it's great, I've been told. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.